For most animals, a crocodile is a real monster that appears out of nowhere, grabs with terrible jaws, and drags under the water. But sometimes the crocodile meets such a rebuff that it becomes a pity. Hippos, lions, and even some zebras are able to turn this predator into a chop in a couple of seconds. Who will you bet on, the lion or the crocodile? A reptile with its huge jaws can be twice as heavy and several times stronger than the lion. And the bite force of a crocodile is about as strong as the Bugatti engine is more powerful than a moped. There is a lot of evidence of reptiles attacking large cats during watering or crossing reservoirs by swimming. Leopards and cheetahs are really tasty prey for these reptiles. And a crocodile can also try to repel a lion's prey if it is on the shore, or even attack an entire pride. But it turns out that attacking lions is a bad idea. These cats are distinguished by the enormous strength of their paws and the ability to fight, which crocodiles can only envy. If the leader of the pride is not caught by surprise, he will be able to fight back against this overgrown lizard. This lion literally drove the crocodile under the water. Still, even this reptile won't want to get hit by this powerful paw. And a few lionesses themselves can turn a crocodile into a suitcase material. Their agility, speed, and group work allows them to successfully fight as such an enemy in shallow water, where the crocodile has no advantage in maneuverability. And the claws of lions are strong and sharp enough to overcome the armor of such an opponent in a couple of blows. Other panthers, such as tigers and jaguars, can also hunt crocodiles and alligators. The first ones are generally the largest and strongest cats in the world. So if a crocodile allows itself to confuse a tiger with an ordinary victim, he will quickly point out to the reptile its mistake and teach some respect. The tiger has such powerful jaws that it is able to open up the crocodile's armor even in the strongest place, on its back. The reptile struggles, but is inferior in maneuverability and flexibility, at least on land. But if clashes between the tigers and crocodiles are relatively rare due to the caution of this striped hunter, then the jaguar is another matter. Lions and leopards mostly strangle the enemy. The jaguar breaks its neck or breaks the occipital bones with its fangs. Why? Yes, because they developed such a manner of hunting specifically against reptiles whose neck is too wide to intercept it in a suffocating reception. That is, alligators are in the top five favorite victims of jaguars. The alligator likes to attack from the water, but the jaguar is such a good fighter that when the reptile attacks, it does not retreat to land, but begins the fight right in the enemy's native element. That's when the alligator really regretted choosing an opponent. Felines in general are distinguished by boldness, which borders on arrogance. A unique frame got into the lens, where the crocodile is slapped by the simplest domestic cat. This impudence became so unexpected that the reptile simply retreated from resentment and disappeared under the water. Give this cat a like, show him your respect before he takes offense at you. Victory over a crocodile for most animals is a huge success and exceptional luck. But if this reptile tries to attack an elephant, well, here the result is quite obvious. The elephant is more than 10 times heavier and more massive and its strength advantage is simply huge. And the reptile knows this, so it almost never touches elephants. If a crocodile attacks an elephant, it happens by mistake. Well, I accidentally confused the thin trunk of an animal with some small animal. Well, it happens in muddy water. It's difficult to see the details. What happens because of this error is another confirmation that you need to be careful with what gets into your mouth. For an elephant, even crocodile jaws are just a minor nuisance. But this is a touchy animal, and it will show the reptile with enviable persistence how wrong she was when she mistook the trunk for a zebra's little, little leg. An elephant can simply trample a crocodile 
can throw it out of the water or can beat the reptile with its own body, lifting it high by the trunk and then hitting it on the water and bottom. You will be surprised, but even a fish can give an unexpected rebuff to a crocodile. Moreover, we're not talking about in a huge shark here, which is twice as large as the reptile, but about a fish less long than a crocodile's head. Any other kind of aquatic life of this size for this lizard is a snack and nothing more. But here the reptile has definitely contacted the wrong opponent. After all, this is an electric eel. It can create a voltage of up to 860 volts and a current of up to 40 milliamps. What do these numbers mean? They mean that the crocodile is literally paralyzed from shock, and its muscles are bound by a terrible cramp. Water is an excellent conductor, so an eel can attack a target within a radius of several feet, several meters around itself. And frightened by the threat of the crocodile attacks again and again, even when the enemy retreats. A few strokes are enough to stop the reptile's heart. Underestimating crocodiles and thinking that anyone can easily pile on them is not worth it, because to put it mildly, it's not like that at all. No wonder this creature is considered one of the coolest predators among modern reptiles. A crocodile can grow up to 13 to 15 feet, four to five meters, with a mass of more than half a ton. Excellent starting indicators for a hunter, but the main thing is a combination of powerful armor and weapons. The armor is made of durable scales, which somewhat resemble medieval armor. As a weapon, jaws in which the leg of an adult man can fit. All crocodile teeth are curved back fangs, the length of which can reach the length of a human finger. However, you need to be able to use this all arsenal. Well, here the crocodiles also have something to brag about because they survived the dinosaurs for a reason, existing on the planet for tens of millions of years, almost unchanged. Crocodiles prefer the technique of ambush hunting. He hides in the muddy water, waiting for the victim to pass by him. Then, a lightning fast jerk, and with powerful jaws, the reptile takes its prey with it to the bottom. Thanks to its incredibly strong jaws, the crocodile is able to hold an antelope, a zebra, or even a bull heavier than itself. At the same time, the reptile not only drowns its victim, but is also able to cope with it on land thanks to a unique fighting technique. When the crocodile grabs the victim, it folds its paws along the body and begins to rotate furiously along its axis, holding the victim. Even the strongest bones, tendons, and muscles cannot resist such a technique. But even with all this arsenal, the crocodile sometimes gets a good thrashing. Usually, ungulates become victims of African crocodile species. During seasonal migration, millions of these animals travel across entire countries in search of food. The backbone of such huge animals are wildebeest, which peacefully coexist with zebras. It is these herds that are the favorite prey of crocodiles, who are waiting for them at the ferry and collect their tribute from the herd, catching animals in difficult areas. But some ungulates are so stubborn that they simply refuse to disappear into the jaws of even this cold-blooded monster. Sometimes their salvation is a truly unique act. Just look at how the zebra jeweler avoids meeting with the jaws of crocodiles. It's like she's dancing. Of course, an exceptional striped horse is capable of such a feat, but who knows, maybe the zebra will teach its descendants to dance, and after 100 to 200 years, crocodiles simply will not be able to catch these dexterous ungulates. Answer in the comments, were you worried about this zebra, or were you rooting for the predator? In general, crocodiles are stronger than snakes. Poisonous ones usually cannot bite through their very thick and strong scales. As for pythons, even if the snake is twice as large, the crocodile is able to cope with it simply thanks to the strength of its huge jaws. The smooth scales of the snake cannot withstand a meeting with rows of crocodile fangs. But the problem is that the snake may not be twice, but three times or even four times larger than the opponent 
and the crocodile often fails to understand this right away because the python is perfectly camouflaged, and in a twisted position or by the size of its head alone, it is difficult to estimate its entire size. Therefore, sometimes a crocodile really makes the mistake and gets involved with a snake that is too big. In this case, he turns himself into her lunch. The boa constrictor pounces on the reptile and wraps its ring around it so as not to allow itself to be bitten. And then, with each exhalation, he tightens his grip more and more in such a way that there is simply no room for oxygen in the crocodile's lungs. And when he no longer has the strength to resist, the python squeezes the enemy's body even harder to cause internal damage. It's a frightening picture, but if an any antelope sees it, believe me, she will be delighted. After all, the python has just saved the neighborhood from a terrible predator, and now he will not hunt for several weeks. And what should a person do if for some reason a crocodile attacks? The best thing is to run away. In the water, crocodiles reach speeds of over 18 miles per hour, 30 kilometers per hour, which allows them to catch up with any prey in their habitat. They can swim so fast thanks to the powerful movements of the tail, which plays the role of a fin. But on land, their speed drops significantly. But to think that a crocodile under this weight on land is not able to accelerate normally at all is to make a very, very dangerous mistake. These reptiles run well and are able to outrun humans. However, only at very short distances. The reason is simple. The crocodile's limbs are not located under the body, as in mammals, but on the sides. Because of this, this reptile is not able to hold such a heavy carcass for a long time, at least in running mode. Therefore, if the crocodile is far enough away, it is easy to break away from it on land. And if skirmishes cannot be avoided, then you need to use the main advantage, intelligence. The crocodile's vulnerable spot is its eyes. Hitting them with a stone, a knife, a branch, improvised heavy materials, or even with your hands, this may be the only chance to escape. But this is only in the most extreme cases. The probability that a person will be able to defeat a crocodile is extremely small, so it is not best to approach these creatures in any case. For example, once an alligator attacked a police car, and the cop could only retreat because the reptile literally chewed the bumper of his car. Such cases are not uncommon. Fortunately, the men remained unharmed. There are episodes when a person himself attacked a crocodile to protect a close creature. For example, when a man from Florida was walking along the shore of a lake and his dog came too close to the water. The alligator immediately attacked and almost dragged the poor dog to the bottom. But the man did not hesitate for a second. Although he was no longer young, this did not prevent him from rushing attack the reptile and recapturing his dog. Cool, of course. But the alligator was as long as a man's arm and could not count on prey larger than a small dog. Fighting hand-to-hand -hand combat with an adult reptile is a very bad idea. But this story ended well because the dog was practically not injured. Thanks to the instant reaction, the man managed to save the pet before the reptile caused significant damage to the dog. However, there is another secret. The fact is that a crocodile has incredibly strong jaw muscles that are responsible for the bite. But the muscles that unclench the jaws, on the contrary, are very weak. An adult can easily keep the crocodile's mouth closed with his bare hands. However, it will start to break out and spin around its axis, so this solution is temporary, but effective. During transportation, crocodiles in captivity often have their jaws sealed with ordinary tape, and the reptiles cannot break it. And although the animal does not experience pain at the same time, such a precaution looks inhumane. What do you guys think about this? Share your opinion in the comments. But this crocodile definitely ran into a fight with the wrong opponent, with another crocodile. Usually these reptiles behave quite loyally and tolerantly towards their fellows. But this is not kindness. 
It's just that the crocodile knows its own capabilities and does not want to run into a fight with someone who is also well armed. However, sometimes skirmishes happen, and then it looks brutal and tough. No wounds. By simply holding the opponent's paw in the jaw, the aggressive crocodile rotates around its axis in a typical move for them, and the opponent's bones, of course, do not stand up. Therefore, trying to prank crocodiles, even with the help of the best fancy and cool costumes, is not the best idea. This guy was lucky. Really, really lucky. He got into a group of crocodiles thanks to his disguise. They even recognized him as one of their own, after which the man, like a transformer, began to turn into a humanoid crocodile right in front of the reptiles. It's like standing at an intersection waiting for you to cross the road, and then the guy next to you would suddenly grow some wings and he started to fly away from you. You'd be pretty shocked too, wouldn't you agree? It's a funny prank, of course, especially considering the shock of the reptiles who saw this monster and immediately tried to hide back in the water, like the frightened heroes of a horror movie. But in fact, the man was lucky that the crocodiles froze in surprise. If he had scared them, they would have attacked, because crocodiles and alligators are not afraid of their own kind. So do not try to repeat this. The crocodile has such powerful jaws and large dimensions that there are almost no truly invulnerable animals against it. But this almost exists. For example, a crocodile can do almost nothing with an adult rhinoceros. The jaws of the reptile will not be able to cling to such a massive and rounded body, which is also covered with armor. But the indomitable power of the rhinoceros is a problem for the crocodile. After all, with a mass comparable to the weight of a car, a rhinoceros can easily, simply trample an opponent. In addition, if you enrage this animal, it rarely stops halfway and tries to finish off the enemy. The most important hatter of a crocodile is a hippopotamus. We really don't know why the hippopotamus makes this reptile so much, but we know the result perfectly well. Here, the crocodile made a mistake not in choosing a target for attack, but in choosing a hunting place. Adult hippos compete with rhinos for the title of the second largest land animal on the planet, after the elephant, with a weight of four to five tons. In addition, the hippopotamus skin may be smooth, but it is very thick and hard, so it plays the role of a good armor. Due to the rounded shape of the body, even such long jaws as a crocodile's will simply slide off this carcass. Well, the main weapon of the behemoth is the jaws, which the animal uses to drown motorboats and to deal with the strongest animals in all of Africa. In these jaws are fangs as long as a saber. Although the hippopotamus is an herbivore and theoretically just digs algae out of the bottom with its fangs, it does in fact use this weapon masterfully, like some sort of leopard. Do behemoths attack such fighters? No, they don't usually attack. So why don't these animals just coexist peacefully? The thing is that hippos hate these reptiles so much that they can even protect other animals from them. The most surprising thing about this behavior is that hippos are usually aggressive and very cruel animals that do not differ in mutual assistance and craving for interspecific altruism. If an antelope or another animal were attacked by lions, hippos would not care about the ungulate. Maybe even they would have watched this action with great interest, just like we like to watch movies during lunch. But if a crocodile tries to hunt on the territory of a hippo, there is a considerable chance that the reptile will remain without lunch and without teeth. A hippopotamus can easily trample a crocodile, break its spine with one bite, or throw it out of the water like a cannonball. Even the cubs of this animal attack adult crocodiles like this. And if a reptile turns out to be near a whole group of hippos, then it already begins to look like some kind of mockery. It's almost as if the hippos share with each other the pleasure of beating the crocodile, which they pass between themselves so that the, everyone can deliver their crushing blow. 
Interestingly enough, hippos often quite calmly tolerate the presence of a crocodile on the territory of one reservoir. But as soon as the reptile starts hunting, it signs its sentence. It turns out that the hippopotamus behaves like an ordinary mafia. You can walk down my street, my friend. But if you try to do your business here, the guys and I will show you that you are not welcome here. However, sometimes hippos attack crocodiles for no reason at all, just sort of on a whim. It is worth saying that herbivores can also cause irritation in these giants. For example, if a gazelle screams too loudly, it will be turned off like an annoying alarm clock. Even the lions are shocked by such brutality. Therefore, there is no need to be surprised here. Did this footage of the crocodile falling out of their distribution cause you sympathy for these predators? Or are you rooting for their prey? Or maybe you treat such episodes impartially like a real documentarian. Share your opinion with us in the comments, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of interesting things just for you.